of 1200. Houston Rockets, today. Colorful, magical, wonderful, wow! The captain is coming, just look at him now! Super sensational, special and new! The captain is coming with something for you! Here comes Captain Kangaroo! Take a look, gonna love it! Having fun, so much of it! really is something, Bun. Certainly is, Bunny. You should be very, very proud. Very proud. Hi, everybody. I'm home. Uh, hi. What's up? Yeah. What's that? Well, it's a, it's a trophy. You know, kind of an award. Oh. From Coach Nickerson. No kidding. Yep. The coach gave you an award. Congratulations. Well, no, it's, it's not for me, Mr. Moose. Uh-huh. Coach Nickerson gave the trophy to Bunny Rabbit. To Bunny? Yeah, look, see, it says right here in the front. To Bunny Rabbit for his improved baseball playing this year. Oh, gee. Con congrat congratulations, Bun. Yeah, it's quite an accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah. We're all so proud of you, Bun, I yeah. tell you. Yeah. Hey, why don't we go and show this to, to Kathy and Kevin, huh, Bon? Okay? Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, that trophy kind of uh, reminds me of the trophy you got a few years ago. Oh, yeah, I got it up in the barn right now. You still have it up in the barn? I still got it in the barn. Well, how do you like that? Bunny wins a trophy, and they all act like it's the greatest thing ever. What's an old trophy anyway? Anybody can have a trophy. I could have a trophy. Yeah, that's it. What's this, Mr. Moose? Oh, that, oh, it's something that arrived while you were gone. Well, it's addressed to you. Oh, really? It says it's from Coach Nickerson. No kidding. I wonder what on earth it could be. Want me to open it? Please. Oh, well, you look at this. What? It's a, it's a, a trophy, another trophy. Oh! Wow, a large one. Oh! And look what it says on the front. It says, what does it say? It says, uh, Mr. Moose for yeah. playing baseball even better than Bunny Rabbit. Well, how about that? A great big trophy just for me? Oh, boy. Gee, Coach Nickerson must really be proud of me. Yeah, I guess everyone has got to be proud of someone who is a trophy like that. <laughs> and underneath this, it says, to Mr. Green Jeans, best farmer of the year, 1965. Uh-oh. There it is. I was just up in the barn looking for it. Thanks for bringing it down for me. No problem at all. Thanks a lot. Mr. Moose. Uh, he's not here anymore. He left town for good and no forwarding address. Mr. Moose. I, I, I guess I did the wrong thing. But, but I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. It's just that everyone was so proud of Bunny when he got his trophy that, well, I wanted you all to be proud of me, too. I guess nobody's proud of me now. Well, I, I wouldn't be so sure of that. Bun? What? What's... Yeah, let me have it, Bun. There you go. Well, hey, Bunny, that's not your trophy. Mm hmm that's right. It's yours, Mr. Moose. Mine? Yeah, look, here. Read what it says. To my friend, Mr. Moose, for being the best teammate in the world. Signed, Bunny Rabbit. Hmm. Oh, I don't deserve that. No. You helped no. Bunny with his ball playing, didn't you? Well, a little, baby. Well, then, that... in a way, you could say that his trophy from the coach was really for the both of you. Well, gee, I, I don't know what to say except thanks, Bun, buddy. And I'll never be jealous again. Ah. Come on, Bunny. <clears throat> Mr. Moose? Yeah. Never? Well, almost never. <laughs> almost never is good enough for me.
Kangaroo will be back after these messages. It's the Mickey Mouse talking phone. Mickey Mouse, come over for a party. You call down that. Okay. With the Mickey Mouse talking phone, the battery is not included. It's Donald. Come on over. With the Mickey Mouse talking phone, you can call six different Disney characters. Yup, you guessed it. I'm Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Mickey Mouse talking phone from Hasbro's preschool division. Mmm, super sugar crisp. Rocks in the box, rolls in the bowl. Oh, sweet rock and roll. Post Super Sugar Crisp Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast for that rock and roll feeling. Let's go back to Captain Kangaroo. Hi there. Hiya, Captain. Ah, uh, Gladys, looks like another quiet day in the coffee shop, oh, huh? Oh, yeah, just the usual. <laughs> Nothing unexpected. Uh, How about a snack? Oh, okay, let me see. I think I'm going to have a... Uh, uh... What was that? Oh, excuse me for a minute. Ah, uh, yeah, Al, here's the usual for you. Thanks, Gladys. You're very welcome. So, what's going to be? You, you see what I, what I, what I think I see? An astronaut, like from a rocket ship? Oh, sure. He comes in here all the time for lunch. Nothing unusual. So what's it gonna be? Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me again. I'm sorry. I hope, Gladys. Likewise, I'm sure. Here you go. Much obliged. Happy trail. Okay, now, Captain, Gladys, what are you going to have? Gladys, who is that masked man? Oh, well, him, he, he just rides in here every day about this time. Nothing unusual. Now, come on, have you made up your mind yet? Oh, well, well, well maybe I'm, I'm going to... One more time, Captain, please excuse me. Ah, uh, here you go. It's right here ready for you. Now, I don't want you to be so impatient, and you remember to chew your food. Okay, now, Captain, what's it going to be? Gladys. Do you realize who you have sitting in your coffee shop? Sure. Well, don't you think it's, it's a little unusual? Unusual? What's so unusual? I mean, like I said, just an ordinary day. Now, come on, Captain. What are you going to have? Oh. Well, I guess I'll have a, a chocolate ice cream soda. What did you say? Well, I said I'm going to have a... Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes. Did he say chocolate? I think he said chocolate. Captain, that is amazing. It is? Why? Well, because you always order vanilla. That's why. I mean, ever since I have known you, you have ordered vanilla. Now, come on. Out of the clear blue sky, chocolate? I mean, why? It, it's just... It, it's it, surprising. It, it's different. <laughs> That's it. That is it. It is unusual. Now, just one minute. You mean to tell me that an astronaut, a lone ranger, and a gorilla in your coffee shop is ordinary? Well, sure, it happens every but day. But my ordering a chocolate ice cream soda is... It's just unusual. You know, like I was telling you fellas, leave it to the captain, turn an ordinary old day into something really unusual. Any something. Nice work, partner. Hey, okay. <laughs> oh, I mean, it was nothing, really. I mean, lucky thing, I, I didn't order something really unusual. Well, like strawberry. You got to have friends. The feelings are so strong. You got to have friends to make that day last.
Not anybody can just walk on the stage and play with the San Francisco Symphony. My name is David Jones. I'm 17 years old. Today, musically as well as otherwise, is a, is a very important day for me. Previously, I've performed with my school orchestra, playing solos with my school orchestra, but this is my first major concert. Something that's very important for young musicians that they, is that they, they need to have someone that they really look up to. That's what my teacher is to me. My teacher is Don Carroll. He is a plays clarinet with the San Francisco Symphony. Has been with the orchestra for over it's ten years. So predictable when you uh -huh. start the, uh, the okay. next Yeah, I've been playing this. Uh... I started playing uh, the clarinet when I was six years old, and I started taking private lessons when I was about eight. I decided that I wanted to be a professional musician and, and be very serious about music. I won the Young Musician Award in 1983. There were about 150 uh, students that I, that I competed against. I won the chance to play with the San Francisco Symphony. The uh, youth orchestra gives four concerts a year, uh, one of which is the concert along, along with the San Francisco Symphony. There are about 100 members of the youth orchestra. And their ages range from about 10 until 19. Being in the atmosphere of a, of a really good orchestra like, like the San Francisco Symphony is exciting and it's a learning experience. I think the reason why the San Francisco Symphony has a youth orchestra is really as a training orchestra and to, to give young musicians a chance to be able to play with very fine adult musicians. Playing in an orchestra is very comparable to playing on a team. Everybody is there for one reason, they want the music to sound good, and in order to sound good, it must be played together. It's a great honor for me to play as a soloist, but it's also a, a big honor for the youth orchestra to be able to perform with the San Francisco Symphony. I know that I still have a long ways to go in developing uh, my skill as a musician, but I was very happy with my performance today. Captain Kangaroo will be back after these messages. SpaghettiOs presents Mr. O. Hi -oh. How about a big hand for a big jokester? <laughs> Mui ha ha! Already got a big hand. Just kidding, just kidding. Say, how about some SpaghettiOs and Frank? <laughs> Moe, you're a real barrel of laughs, so here... Uh, real SpaghettiOs and Franks. Right! SpaghettiOs with 100% beef Franks. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Hey, smell this flower. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Hershey, Hershey, Hershey. It's a fun one. Hershey, Hershey, Hershey. Chocolate fun, pure milk, chocolate, delicious and smooth. Oh, if you don't believe me, I'll prove it to you. 
when you take a bite, take a bite. Oh, you'll say I'm right. Hershey, Hershey, Hershey. It's a fun oh, one. Oh, Hershey, Hershey, Hershey. Ooh, we chocolate fun. Mmm, super sugar crisp. Rocks in the box, rolls in the bowl. Oh, sweet rock and roll. Super Sugar Crisp Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast for that rock and roll feeling. Now back to the Captain Kangaroo Show. Presenting His Highness, King Harold the Grand, King of Outer Moldavia and Greater Dubuque. Ruler of the Western Seas and monarch of all places in between and ninth descendant in the line of Piffle. Dinner is served. Presenting Her Majesty Queen Felicia the Good, Imperial Empress of Zabalonia and Alakazam, High Princess of the Moon and the Stars, an exalted keeper of the royal tulip. King Harold the Grand, Queen Felicia the Good. Queen Felicia the Good, King Harold the Grand. Dinner is served. Presenting His Swellness, Maharaja Swami, the inscrutable principal bigwig of Burma and Shave, most noble Nahab of one million lily pads, and Supreme Sultan of Fly Swatters. <laughs> Maharaja Swami, King Harold the Grand, Queen Felicia the Good, Maharaja Swami, King Harold the Grand, Queen Felicia the Good. is served. Presenting his pomposity, Kaiser Nachwest, the stiff. Lord High Magnifico of Donut and Slouch, Minister of Windmills, Archduke of Flugelhorns, and brother-in-law to the House of Pancakes. <laughs> Kaiser Nachwurst, King Harold, yes, yes, yes. Queen Felicia, uh, Swami. Uh, Kaiser Nachwurst, Maharaja, King Harold, Queen Felicia, yes, Kaiser sure. Present 
Martin. That does it. We will never get to eat. Let's let's go out for a hamburger. Yes. I say we go have a pizza. Excuse me. Was it something I said? And now, we bring you another episode of Tales of the Really Scary and Slightly Ridiculous. On a dark and foggy evening in London town. Hello? Who's there? Who is it? <gasps> evening, Mum. Don't do that. I am sorry, Mum, but I thought I heard something strange. I thought I saw something strange out there in the fog. It was weird. What'd you describe it, Mum? Well, it was huge. I think it was all that, eye. It had long ears and it was all covered with fur. Fur? Fur. F-U-R. Aye. Just as I thought, Mum, it was him. Him? Aye, the, the one we've been looking for. The one they call Paws. Paws? Aye. There's that sound again. Over there. Where? I don't see anything. Hello. Who is it? <laughs> Look out. Evening, folks. Don't, don't do, do that. that. Sorry, but I just heard from headquarters. It's him, all right. You mean the same one as last year? That's right. The one they call... The, the one they call what? Paws. Paws. Mm-hmm. That's oh. right. Here we go again. Uh-oh. He's out there. But where? <gasps> oh. Don't, Don't do, do that. that. I am sorry, but I have a plan. Come here. Come here. We're we'll all right here. And when he comes... We'll jump out. We will? We'll surround him. Oh, Peachy. He won't get away this time. Here he comes. Oh, I can't look. And he's gotten closer. Tell me when it's all over. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. three. Surprise! 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 Happy Easter, Mr. Bunny! Happy day! Happy day! <laughs> Happy day! I believe this. Have you both been good boys? Oh, sure. You're sure? Here's an Easter egg for you, oh, then. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and some jelly beans for you. Oh, well, thanks. There you go. Happy day! Happy days Happy to day. you. Goodbye, goodbye. Happy goodbye. day. Goodbye. Good boy. See you again next year. Ta ta. Well, let's go. Okay. Eh? Wait a minute. Wait just one minute. You mean to tell me that you two knew all along that this creature, Paul's, was actually the Easter Bunny? No, that's right, Mum. And we have you to thank for that. We, we found him. Thanks again. Ah, ta-ta. Ta-ta. It was nothing. Nothing at all. <gasps> oh! Happy days. Don't do that. He does. <laughs> Captain Kangaroo will be back after these messages. My little pony, dream castle. I can play with my little ponies there. Majesty. My little pony, dream castle. A beautiful place to comb their pretty hair. Moon dancer sold my separately. Pony, dream castle. A lovely throne and spike the dragon too. Castle, Your parents put it together. I love you, my little pony. My Little Pony Dream Castle comes with My Little Pony Majesty. Other ponies sold separately from Hasbro. Want to talk to someone special? You can call the Cabbage Patch Kids. Batteries not included. Hello. Zora's Sleigh. Want to play a game with me? 
Okay, come on to my house. I'm going to call Georgia Ann. With the Cabbage Patch Kids talking phone, you can talk to six different Cabbage Patch Kids. It's Georgia Ann. I love you. I love you too, Georgia Ann. Cabbage Patch Kids talking phone. Batteries not included. From Hasbro Preschool. Let's go back to the captain. Well, what would you like to do today? You know, it could be a good day for... Jumping, jogging, rocking, rolling, rowing. Racing, riding, tumbling, and throwing. Skiing, dancing, batting, biking, eating, reading, hitting, hiking, walking, talking, chugging, rapping, flying, laughing, laughing. Whatever you do, have a great day. friendly faces a world where kids and fun go hand in hand all the world loves m &Ms, a delicious chocolate wonderland all the world loves m &Ms, they're neat to eat a joy for everyone m &Ms chocolate candies the milk chocolate melts in your mouth not in your hand Are you looking for an adventure that's more than just the fat of the moment? Well, join today's campfire for girls and boys. Come on, share the real-life adventure of campfire. This is CBS. Hello. 